I swear, I'm going to change the name of this channel to Baptism Light Reviews because that's all anybody is sending me. And they're getting weird. You're probably looking at this going, Asia, you have hit a whole new level because we can't believe you're actually reviewing a lightsaber. No, it's not a lightsaber. I mean, it it does kind of look like a lightsaber. These are actually new light offerings from a company called Porter Cable. Yes, that Porter Cable, the tool company Porter Cable. You know, they had hit me up and they said, you know, we've been watching your videos and we're coming out with some lights that might be useful in what you do. And that being overlanding, camping, Jeep mods. And uh, I looked at what they were offering and I was like, you know what? I could probably make use of those things. Many months ago, I did a video where I said, I'm gonna review the last camp light you will probably need. And you know what? I'm still true to that. Actually, let me show it to you. This is the Free Spirit Recreation Ready Light. And I have loved this thing. It expands really tall and then you'll be able to light up a whole area and then there's little pods that you can remove from it so that you can walk around with them. You can hand them to family members and there's a flashlight on it. The stands are in here, the light is in here, everything you need is in here, but it does get a little bit cumbersome. And if you are the type of person that have limited space in your cargo area, you may not necessarily find it useful to bring something as big as this. So when Porter Cable hit me up about their lights, I kind of got excited because I'm like, well, maybe on those trips where I really, really need the cargo space and I don't need to necessarily bring the ready light, I can probably bring one of these. This one is a work light, which we'll get to in just a minute. And then this, lightsaber looking thing actually expands the same way as the ready light does so it'll give me that kind of coverage so let's go through them one by one we'll start off with a simpler one and then we'll get to this big guy all right so first up is their miniature work light and i think it might be really handy to have one of these i have like a really old i don't know if you can see it i have one of these ow 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 you remember these? Like you plug them in, you, know, you can't recharge them or anything like that. And they get really, really hot. That's why there's this cage here so you don't burn yourself. Yeah, this is pretty outdated. Vintage. But this might just replace that. What I like about this is this is rechargeable. I actually charged it up before the video. And you charge it up right here. You have these ports. You have a regular USB and a USB-C. The charger that they give you is USB-C. So you plug it right in there and that'll charge this up. And I'm guessing if you plug in a phone to this USB port here or a USB port here, it'll charge up your phone. Now, the way this works, I think you loosen this and this lifts up really nicely and then you tighten this back up, won't go anywhere. And then here's what's really cool about this that you don't get with that old one. You got these that expand out like that. So you can basically move this however you want. Switches back here. You have a setting for one and then you have a two and then you have the middle. So let's see if that's what that does. So you have one and then you have two. I don't know if you could tell the difference. I would think that maybe one would only do the middle or something. And then the t if you do two, then the other ones will light up. But yeah, really, really bright. I mean, let me see how much in a second. Let's try to light up my background here. Yeah. yeah, works really nicely. I believe they sent me their weaker one. This is probably the, the weakest one based on the specs that I'm seeing in the back here because I'm seeing others in their lineup that's even brighter. But the one that they sent me, this one is a 30 watt, 3000 lumen max rechargeable LED work light. It's lithium ion battery powered, cordless, camping light, portable outdoor light. But as I was looking at their stuff on Amazon, um, I was seeing a bunch of other uh, brightnesses for this thing. There's one that's 92 watts, uh, 10,000 or yeah, 10,000 lumen. Uh, they have another one that's 50 watt, 5,000 lumen. 50 watt, 5,000 lumens, and then the 92 watt, 10,000 lumens. And then this one is a 30 watt, 
3,000 lumens. This is gonna be a great light to just have around in the house, especially too if uh, hurricane season is upon us. And so we always need lights. And you know, when our power goes out, we, we wanna be able to have, a, have seen lighting and all that stuff inside our house. So this is probably gonna stay in my storm kit, or actually it's probably just gonna stay here in the garage and I'm gonna use it to work on the Jeep and things like that. So yeah, this is the Porter Cable work light. Now let's talk about this damn lightsaber. This is the light that I'm actually really excited about and why I agreed to review their products because when I saw this, I really like it. And, and I know it looks strange and funny and kind of unorthodox, but if you think about it, the entire unit is in here. Like, you don't need a case for it. You don't need to put it together in different pieces. Like, this is it. Everything is self-contained and I like that. And I also like the portability of this thing. For a big camp light, it's very narrow and thin. I can just slide this in the corner somewhere versus my trusty Free Spirit Recreation light, which again, I still really, really love this light. It's just that if you think about how much space this will take up versus how much space this will take up, well, you can definitely tell the difference. And even this way too, this is actually thinner but there is one downside the good thing about this thing is that it's a big panel of light and on the back of that is a solar panel this does not have a solar panel so once the battery is dead on this the battery is dead on this and you'll probably have to use something in your rig to power it back up whether that's a power bank a huge one like a Jackery or Go Zero or uh, we have the Blue Eddy or, you know, if you have power in your rig to power this thing up, you can do so as well. But what I liked about the Free Spirit Recreation one is that I don't ever need to rely on my rig to power it up. I would charge that Free Spirit Recreation one before we leave and then I leave it out in the sun all day and I've been able to let that pretty much light up the night, like for four nights, no problem. It never went out. I don't know how long this will last before it dies out on me so I'm not gonna be trying this out yet we have a trip coming up and I'm gonna bring this solely and see how well it performs on the field but for now let me give you the specs each LED arm that's on this and I'll show you that in just a minute is 50 watts and they can each be adjusted from 1000 to 2000 to 4000 lumens it also has a option of going from uh, different color temperatures going from warm to cool which the Free Spirit Recreation one doesn't, it's just one, it's just white or ambers on the corners if you wanted to make those amber. But this one can go from 3000 all the way to 5000 Kelvin. So that gives you some kind of flexibility there if you want something a little bit more warmer or you want something a little bit cooler, that's totally up to you. Featuring LED dual heads, vertically 180 degrees and horizontally 270 degree rotation. And it also has a power bank of 6000 mAh large capacity ba battery and four hours of quick recharging. Runtime up to eight hours under low brightness mode. Um, the portable camping light can also serve as a power bank for mobile devices in an emergency. The folded LED work light can be extended from 25.59 inches, which is what this is right now, to 76.38 inches just by rotating and locking clip according to your needs. So that's what that is. Let's, let's kind of go through this. I have yet to open this, by the way, so I don't, we're gonna learn together, yeah? So there's your USB power bank right there, and then there's also a port there, and that's how you recharge this thing back up. And then over here, I'm guessing this is, this is the power cord here. Let me see how this thing opens. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me open this stuff up first. Oh, this one says two, three. There's these little clips that you have to kind of lock, I guess. Okay. Oh, then there's this locking thing here. So this opens up like this and it locks into place. All right, let's figure out how this thing opens. 
Weirdly, there's nothing in the instructions about how which way this thing opens, and I'm guessing how come it won't. I don't want to break it. Spring loaded, and this was basically getting in the way. This thing is kind of tight in there, and yeah, it won't move, but you kind of have to push it, and then it spring loads back on you, I guess, so that it doesn't snap off, right? Like you don't leave it open by accident, and it snaps back in, but I don't know. I'm just nitpicking at this point. Let's charge this thing up. And then I'm guessing the lights swing out. There's your one light here. Let me show you that in just a minute. One here. Um, and then I'm guessing, oh, there you go. Okay, so let me put this on the ground and then you extend it like this. Okay, um, it should go taller than this. Oh, there you go. It does go taller. Is there any more to this? That might be it. All right, so it looks like this is about the tallest it's gonna be. Now in the specs, it said 80 inches, but I'm guessing that's if you were to raise these all the way up. Now, I don't know how many of you can actually rock it this way. I mean, you can, you'll be able to light up an entire scene like this, but for the most part, we're probably gonna be using it like this. And then you can turn this any way you want, which I really like, but yeah, you're not gonna get like the height that for example, my Free Spirit Recreation one, I mean, it can go pretty tall. And this is not super duper tall, but it's workable. So if you need it for, you know, over a table or if you're working on your hood, this will probably work for you. And you can point these any way that you want. Now, over on the handle itself, you're gonna see two buttons. That's all that's on this thing are those two buttons, a power button and a dim button. The power button turns it on and then it goes to the brightest mode, 4,000 lumens, and then you press it one more time, it drops down to 2,000, and then one more time and it turns off. So on here it says three brightness modes, but this is only giving me two. One, two. And then the other button is a dim button, and if you press that button, it changes color temps for you. This is your 5,000 lumen, 5,000 Kelvin, which is a little bit more on the cooler side, and you can see my hand here how it's a little bit more on the cooler side. Press it again, and it'll go to uh, 4,000 Kelvin, which is kind of a mix of the white and the kind of the warmer tone. And then if you want, you can drop it down to 3,000, and that'll make it, you know, really kind of more orangey feels not amber but it's more of the warmer tone so if you don't want something that's super glaringly white then you have a more warmer tone there so you could just toggle through all the three different ones and then on each one you also have the choice of whatever brightness you want but this is what's weird so hold on let's turn this back on so let's say I have it right now at the 3000 Kelvin when I hit the power button though it turns off and then when I turn it back on, it reverts back to the, uh, to the uh, 5000 Kelvin uh, color temp. So it's not going to remember what color temp you were at last. It'll revert back. This is, looks like the default setting, 5000 Kelvin, 4000 lumens. So you are going to need to do some adjusting for that. Yeah. I have an idea. All right, so I am now filming this video using nothing but their lights to light me. So I'm using this work light as my key light. Actually, if it was a key light, it would be maybe here. Key light, and then I'm using their expandable one as my 
hair background light. Not too bad. It's actually pretty bright. This wasn't a good idea. Oh, that's, that hurts. Not bad for what they do. They are not ultra bright. They're not as super bright as I thought they were going to be. But I think it works. I think it works if you just need light and you don't really necessarily need something that's going to be ultra, ultra blinding light. Like this would probably work. And I've, I honestly, I have found myself when I'm, a, when I'm at camp to not necessarily need really bright lights. In fact, I've gone out with friends and they'll attest. Sometimes I'll turn on some lights and they're like, dude, can you dial it down, man? We're trying to have like a moment here. Like we don't need to know how bright it is. We don't care. We just want it to be more moody than anything. And this will probably give you that kind of mood lighting. You can set this up next to your camp chair. You know, again, it's not going to be super tall, but if you set it up near your camp chair or something, you can still read a book and you can work on things without, you know, ruining the whole campfire area that everybody's at. You can kind of just have some little light that's just going on you and whoever you're sitting next to or whatever, and that's good enough. Actually, let me interrupt really quickly because this is important. I just went and looked up the stats for the Free Spirit Recreation Ready Light, and the max lumens on that is actually 550. This, the lowest, is 1,000 lumens, and it can go up to 4,000 lumens. So this is actually brighter than the Ready Light, and if that Ready Light has already been bright enough for me when I'm using it at camp, then this is double and even quadruple the size of that. So yeah, it may not look bright in here, but I'm sure that when I test it out at camp, it's probably gonna look a lot brighter. I'll let you see that for yourself when we actually go and use this on the field. And then this, if I brought this around again, this is probably good for emergencies, and I could probably also use this, um, you know, like at a table, like at our camp table or something, just kind of put it at the end of the table and you'll be able to light up all the food and whatever it is that you're doing. So portability, yes. Sadly, neither of these have uh, solar, so that's going to kind of suck because if you are, you know, camping for a few days, you're going to need to find a way to charge these back up. Again, I think they said eight hours on one charge. So after that, I, I don't know. I don't know how much, how many, how often or how much you use your light, but eight hours may not be enough if you're going to be out for extended periods. You're going to need to recharge this all the way back up. Let me go ahead and get the studio lights back on. What I do like is that... <laughs> It's compact and I can pretty much pack it back together into one small unit. This one's easy. This just folds into place and then you loosen this up here. That goes back down and then you can tighten it back up and that's not gonna move on you. Now let's see if we can close this back. Loosen number three. So number two controls that middle one. So this just supposed to fold back in. Oh, there you go. That's easy. Oh, you know what though? You do have to make sure that you kind of, all right, let me show you this. Make the legs kind of go out a little bit because this needs to go inside this thing. There's this little button to unlock these legs a little bit, right? So you just put this, make sure that's inside before you lock it into place. And there you go. And what's cool too is before, the light was on the outside. You could turn it so the light's inside and that'll protect your light so that your, your light's not exposed and you're banging it into stuff. Turn it around and so that the light's on the inside. And just lock everything back up. But that's it. And then you have your own little area here to carry the charger so you don't have to worry about bringing a charger with you. Again, just a little, kind of see, even still now, it's a little, it's like, I don't know, man. Oh uh, yeah, see, this I don't like. I don't like this little snappy back type of thing because once I think I got it open, it snaps back into place, see? It shouldn't be like this hard to remove this or have a different kind of locking mechanism because... But this one is cool right here. Um, this opens up. See, that stays in place. It doesn't snap back at you. Again, this is just a little bit tough. And then your two buttons are right there. You have your power and you have your dim button. And then everything is numbered for you so it'll be easy for you to, to kind of deploy one, two, and three. All right, I know this video is kind of all over the place. It's usually not how I do my reviews. It's just, I've been in California for the last week, spending time with family, hanging out with my mom, and I got back yesterday, and I knew that I had to release a video this Friday. Not that I rushed it or anything like that. It's more so, usually I'll get a chance to mess with the item, kind of get a feel for it, and then I do my review, but you're actually watching me 
do that live and <laughs> trying to figure it out, which I think is fun because then we're kind of learning together. I think they're great lights. Um, portability is awesome. Uh, I, I, I know I'll be using these a lot. I do know that the Free Spirit Recreation light, that's still going to come with me, especially on the longer trips. But when it's just me and I don't necessarily need to bring that monstrosity of a camp light that has solar and I'm only going to go for like one night, this might just do the trick. This for sure is easy to take camping. It's easy enough. You just kind of stuff somewhere and then use it. Uh, and deploy it without having to put together a bunch of stuff. But you will see me use this. We have a trip coming up, Labor Day. We're going to be finishing, well, we're going to do part two of a three-part series when we do the Florida Adventure Trail. I'm definitely busting this out and you'll be able to see me use it on the field. But anyway, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. I mean, as kind of choppy as this whole review was. Uh, maybe it helped you kind of decide if this is something that's right for you. If it was and you found this video informative, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also consider supporting us on Patreon so we can continue to make more content like this. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time. <music>